Hey, Melanie Beckler here with ask-angels.com here with your December 2016 full moon angel card reading. So this full moon is a very interesting one because not only is this the last full moon of 2016, and so we're beginning our final release of everything that has happened this year. This full moon is the culmination of the energy of 2016. And so now we begin the process of letting go of this year, which this whole year has been a year of completions. So this is like the completion of the completion year. So don't be surprised if things are kind of coming full circle. If you find yourself letting go of things, closing chapters, and just sitting back a little bit and preparing to enter into the new because 2017 and the next cycle is going to be a huge cycle of new beginnings, but more on that to come. The other super interesting thing about this full moon is that it happens right after we entered in to a crystalline ascension gateway the Ascension Gateway of December 12th, 1212 to 1221, the solstice, where there's a huge influx of high vibrational energy, crystalline consciousness, and light consciousness urging us to awaken, to step into our full light, to step into our power as spiritual beings in physical form. So with those two things going on, the final full moon completion, and then also this huge surge of energy and ascension, let's use the Ask Angels Oracle cards to tune into the angels' guidance for us right here, right now. So as always with card reading, join me in closing your eyes, and focusing your awareness within. Let's just take a moment together to relax. Let go of whatever stresses or challenges you're currently experiencing. Let go and shift your awareness inside. Breathe. And relax. At this time, I ask that we each be surrounded with divine white light, that each of our guides and angels and ascended masters who can most serve enter into this present time and space. Help us each to shift out of our minds and into our hearts where we can tune into the love, into your messages, into your guidance, and into the incredible ascension, energy, and frequency available to us now. I ask that you come in now and connect with me through these angel cards and help me through this intuitive angel card reading to tune into whatever guidance, whatever messages, whatever will most serve according to divine will for the highest and greatest good. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do we most need to know? for this cycle of completion from this full moon until the new moon just before January. Please guide us now. Okay, now I'm going to shuffle light into the cards, looking for cards that seem to stand out, which that one did. And let's do a three card reading just for fun. So shuffling light into the cards, just loosely being aware of all the light around and all the angels. There's our second card. And just looking for the cards that appear. Okay, so our first card, we are going to be looking at the energy right now and the energy that led up to right now. So the past few days and the next few days following this, we have energy clearing with positive energy. And this is bringing the important message that this is a high vibrational time with the gateway of crystalline consciousness and ascension combined with the full moon energy triggering release, triggering completion. It's so important to keep your energy clear 
and balanced and to release whatever lower vibrations, whatever past challenges, whatever emotions may be coming up for you because they are coming to the surface to be released. But if you don't release them, they'll hang around in your energy field. In addition, there's so much coming up for humanity that's still in a huge state of flux, a huge state of upheaval as people are feeling challenged, are feeling fearful, are feeling downright terrified in certain countries and locations. This is a culmination of all of the challenging energies of 2016. We're being asked to now release this, to let go and release into the light. The times of releasing where we dump energy to the earth, this used to work. But understand that Gaia, Mother Earth, is in transition, is ascending as well. And so now it's important that you release into the light. If you really want to release into the earth, start by visualizing and envisioning a portal of light at the center of the earth, and then you can release into that. But ideally, release into the divine light above for the highest and greatest good, and so it is. So energy clearing, keeping your energy clear and bright. This is also going to help you to make the most out of the busy holiday season, to have your interactions be positive and to be a beacon of light and to be a positive influence on those who you are around. Because when your energy is clear, when you're vibrant, when you're awake, when you're charged with divine light that you have access to in an infinite supply from above, every encounter you have becomes an energetic and healing experience for that person. Every encounter becomes you doing light work and you then won't be weighed down in the drama or challenges of other people because you have clear energy. You have joy and love acting as a shield and blocking out any lower vibrations. So let's get you there right now. Close your eyes and imagine a waterfall of light streaming in around you, completely cleansing your energy from head to toe. Just breathe and tune into the stream of light flowing all around you. As I now ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Uriel to please step forward to surround you in an orb of energy clearing light to cleanse out any lower vibrations, any lower entities, any dark beings, attachments, hooks, cords, the works, step away from your body and release into the light according to divine will. And so it is for the highest and greatest good. And now love and joy and light take place of whatever lower energies, whatever lower beliefs or past experiences or densities or dualities that you've let go of. Release those and let love, joy, compassion, serenity, and light take their place. Open your heart, letting love and light gather in the area of your heart chakra center, letting love and light fill your entire aura so that you are a beacon of light. You are positively shining. You are vibrant. You are a powerful light being in physical form. Stand in this truth. Claim your power. Keep your energy clear. Stay grounded, centered, and present. And this is going to help you immensely in tuning in to all the benefits of the incredible energy right here and now without getting weighed down in your or other people's negative thoughts and past challenges and emotional things that are coming up to be released into the light. Okay, so keep your energy clear. And remember, you can always, always, always ask your angels to help clear and shield your energy. If you feel that this is really a struggle for you, check out my spiritual cleansing sessions that go in depth into clearing negative or dark entities and all those other non-physical vibrational things that can get caught up in your energy and that we want to make sure you're cleansed and bright and shiny moving forward. Okay, moving forward 
into the middle of the cycle where our guidance is empower your habits with Archangel Uriel. So this is speaking to me right away about the holiday season. And yes, the holidays are traditionally known to be a time to indulge, a time to partake, a time to kind of like let go of your normal positive habits and routines and rituals and maybe eat lots of cookies or drink a lot or whatever. The angels are bringing the reminder to be mindful of what you're putting in your body and be sure you're drinking plenty of water, laying off eating too many cookies and sugary sweets and instead reach for healthy fresh fruit and produce and vegetables and herbal teas and really infusing your body with things that are going to make you feel good. Remember, this is not a normal holiday season. We're in the midst of a huge energetic opening. And so you are shifting, you're changing, you're becoming more crystalline. So support yourself in this by also taking the time to meditate, taking time to nurture yourself, take a salt bath to further clear your energy, take a walk outdoors to soak up the sunshine, which yes, carries so many codes of awakening. Take time to get your workout in, to walk your dog, to eat healthfully, to relax. And these positive habits will do wonders for helping you to stay balanced, centered, and in a state of love and joy because being in love and joy is so powerful because this is your vibrational state. There's the law of attraction, right? What you think creates, but it's so much more than this. It's what you think, speak, feel, vibrate as. Your personal energy field is what is manifesting in your life. So vibe up taking good care of your body and empowering your habits. And if you need help with this, ask your angels to help you to make healthy choices for yourself and to stay vibrationally charged. Keep your vibration up with both your intention, your thoughts, and also your habits. This is going to bring us right up until the end of December which our message from the angels is then relax with Archangel Uriel, which really is so perfect. You at this point have reached the culmination of 2016, which has had so much goodness in it, so many miracles, so many new codes of ascension and codes of awakening, but there have also been some challenges. There have been huge challenges globally and collectively, and perhaps in your life as well, huge shifts, huge changes, bringing us to this point of completion. And so around the end of the month, around the 27th, 28th, and 29th, give yourself permission to relax a bit, read a good book, listen to some meditations, lay on the couch and just, breathe and be and do whatever things really are nurturing and nourishing for you to relax, to rejuvenate, to get clear about what it is you want to manifest in this next year because it's a huge new beginning we're preparing for. And all of the light, all of the codes of awakening, all of the help from the angels and the spiritual realms are here. They're literally downloading into physical reality right now. And you can tune into them through meditation, through checking out the new 12th dimension ascension activation with Serafina, and through walking in nature, through getting lots of sunlight, taking time for you, and going inward. Relax and let go. When you let go of tension, when you let go of struggle, when you let go of thought, when you let go of trying to make an experience of your angels happen, when you let go, relax, and enter in, you're able to so much more effortlessly tune into the magic. A relaxed state is a high vibrational state. So don't stress because it lowers your vibration. 
relax and keep asking yourself, how could this be easier? How could this be more fun? How could I bring more joy and love and light into whatever it is you're working on, whatever it is you're wrapping up, and whatever it is you're beginning to weave thought towards, to flow your intention towards, to plant seeds, to begin to manifest in 2017, which is going to be a huge new positive cycle of co-creation, of manifestation, and yes, continued changes and shifts and fluctuations as we all are ascending and progressing in the direction of the highest and greatest good in the direction of becoming awakened spiritual beings in physical form. So keep your energy clear, empower your habits, relax and enjoy the moment because this moment is where all the power is. It's where your angels are, where your guidance are, where your opportunities are. Let go, focus within, open your heart and tune into the love and light that is all around you and remember to think or say, angels, help. Help me to stay balanced and centered. Help me to be present in each and every moment. Help me to respond with love to every situation. Help me to fully show up for my friends and family. Help me to bring positive energy and light to every situation. Help me to step into the fullness of the spiritual being I authentically am. Help me to shine my full light, embody my highest vibrational truth and step into my power as an awakened being, as a conscious co-creator in physical form. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. And remember, when you ask your angels to be with you, when you ask your angels for help, they answer and they are here Remember to listen to your internal nudges, your intuition and your inner inspirations and act on that intuitive guidance to make healthy choices, to cleanse your energy, take that salt bath, take a walk, write in your journal, empower positive blessings in your life. Know that you are so loved and supported. Thank you for watching this reading. I hope it was helpful for you. Again, these are the Ask Angels Oracle cards. If you like them, you can order them on Amazon or find them on the app stores by searching Ask Angels Oracle cards. And if you really want to tune into the power you just experienced of these readings, learn how to give accurate intuitive angel card readings yourself with the intuitive angel card readings video course that I will link to below. Again, thank you so much. Know that you're so loved. Have a beautiful now. And as always, if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment, and then I'll see you soon. <laughs>